Water baptism is an act of obedience that follows conversion to portray symbolically the washing away of our sins. Water baptism calls for immersion instead of sprinkling. As Jesus, when he was baptized, he was immersed. And it's a symbol of being washed. In Acts chapter 2, verse 38, it says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is a significant time. This is not to be forgotten. As a reminder in Matthew chapter 28 it, tell, it tells us to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As Pastor Abner said old things have passed away. You walk in a new nature. You walk in a new understanding that your enemy has been defeated. And you walk in the joy of the, of, of the Lord. We are so proud of you. Amen. So proud of you. Yes. It just gives my heart just just gladness, our hearts gladness. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Christian Gonzalo Bundo, and I've been with this ministry for a year and a half. And I have to say it's been a pleasure to be amongst fellowship and to be baptized and to advance together in this life that we share in following Christ. And I have to say my feelings for following Jesus have been stronger ever since. And, uh, if anything has changed, it's that I've been so much more joyful in the time that I've spent in this ministry. And I pray that everyone becomes more joyful from this encounter. And I'm proud to say that Jesus is my master. Amen. Um, and so since then, God has uh, worked in me and my relationship with him has become deeper and deeper and I'm glad that I didn't choose to do it then because now it's, it's more meaningful for me to get baptized today. Uh, and so as 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5 verse 7 says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. I decide today to walk with Jesus and to follow Jesus and to, you know, walk for Jesus uh, by faith. Behold, all things have become me. And 
And today, I I want to publicly declare my faith. I want to have a new life, a new beginning. I want to focus today and in the future. I want to forget the past and the former young. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hi, my name is Karen Kudor. I go to church, but my mind and myself is not really in the present. Yeah, today I'm putting all my trust in God, Amen. and um, I I choose to be baptized today because in Christian that's where I could feel His presence, I could feel His voice, Amen. and I am happy for now that I am the child of God. I was born as a Catholic, and I'm, before, I never put my heart into being a child of God. Being a Christian now really made me put my fix myself and my relationship with God. Having this baptism is just a blessing to me that I am following the path that God has given me, the right path that I can be following in my life. But in, in the future, I started noticing that it, it was because that my family loved me. And they did it so I can learn from my mistakes. So <laughs> that's God's work right there. So overall, I'm just really happy. And I'm standing here, and I'm about to be baptized over there. I'm about to be gone. I grew up in a Catholic household, and uh, I went to... Uh, private high school and uh, elementary school. Pretty much adults, when I was young, I just wanted to rebel because you kind of had it off. Just, to, to be honest, this is what I wanted because I was just like scared to show people that I was going to Bible study. Like they would probably think I'm weird or God is boring. But I grew. I'm, right now, I'm ready more than ever. And I'm happy with um, what you guys are here with me. And I'm not afraid. God has other plans for me too. And I'm just doing it. Thank you guys. Amen. Amen. Hello. Right, hello everyone. So my name is Carlo. Um, and like what they said, Karen and then Paulo said, I grew up as a Catholic. So um, since then, before when I was back in the Philippines, I lived my life to make my self decision. Like I can do whatever I want in my life. But now, um, since my life having struggles and struggles like stress, and sometimes I feel like I can't take any more stress or problems into my life. I, I used to live back all the way down to Miami, but God made me a way to meet a need. Uh, God made a way for me to be a Christian. So I'm so proud of myself that I'm here right now. I want to surrender everything on of my problems and stressfulness into my life, into God. Um, I want to be more faithful to Him. And then, like what's it? I, I want to surrender everything on Him. And thank you for Pastor Abner and Sister Edna for helping me out. And I leave for counseling for our relationship, and it, it, it helped out a lot. And I'm expecting to be more uh, mature and the responsible father for my family. Yeah, I want to surrender everything after but this time I want to walk to God straight and then not committing sin anymore. Amen. 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 My name is Yubia. So since I was little, I was always in that church. Um, I my family the best place. Um, I didn't get to grow up with my dad. I, I didn't feel accepted anywhere I went. Uh, I was, I felt rejected in my old church. Uh, damaged me even more. Uh, it left more scars. I didn't think I deserved to be loved by God. He embraced me with his love and he comforted me. He accepted me with all of my sins. He he forgave me of everything, and I don't want his stuff to, to be in vain. So, uh, this baptism, I will um, be born again, and I will live to glorify God, my Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Amen.
I'm really just letting myself go and I felt like I had nothing. I felt like I was a worthless nobody. I think in 2019, Mika invited me to Cell Group. I was really scared of everyone because I'm just surrounded by a bunch of Christians. <laughs> but after that first Bible study, I had like this talk with Malad. It was like a very like eye-lightening conversation that I had with her. It very much inspired me to reconnect with God again. And two years ago, I had a chance to join EGR, but I didn't feel ready. It just, I guess God had different plans for me. But then after going to EGR, I realized for myself, just the new lifestyle that I started to develop, uh, relying on Him through all my struggles, relying on Him through all my problems, that through His Word, through His Holy Spirit, through any trials and tribulations I can get through. And quoting Philippians 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I just never felt this deeper love, knowing that Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross for us to be alive and just how much he loves us. Thank you. Amen. Walking. 